April 17th is nomination day. Cops bust Venezuelan pirates, and renegotiation calls make investors nervous. I'm Rigo Bolfort, and this is Uncut News. Do you see what's happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6151. GCOM has announced that April 17th will be the nomination day for the upcoming local government elections. Political parties, volunteer groups, and individuals must submit a symbol for GCOM's approval no later than March the 24th. The local government elections are scheduled for June 12th, 2023, after being postponed due to disputes over the demarcation of constituencies and the voters list. The Guyana Initiative Against Climate Change, a green energy project in Region 10, has been served with a notice of termination by the state holding company, Nissel, for failing to deliver its objectives as outlined in its business plan. The project aimed to produce two types of fertilizers, using renewable energy and raw materials of air and water. The termination was brought to light by the Linden Chamber of Industry, Commerce and Development, which expressed disappointment at the treatment of the matter. A car caught fire shortly after being stopped by traffic officers in Number 3 Village on the west bank of Burbies. The driver and another occupant were ordered out of the vehicle after police noticed smoke emanating from the engine. A few seconds later, an explosion occurred and the car was completely consumed by the flames. The fire service arrived at the scene, but the car was already destroyed. The driver and occupant were from Ithaca Village, west bank Burbies. Carl Parker, a member of the PNCR, has been charged with threatening behavior and damage to property following a confrontation with a contractor over his party's alleged illegal occupation of a state-owned property in Letham, Region 9. Despite being served several notices by the government to vacate the property, the PNCR has refused to move from the building, which it occupies for political purposes, claiming that they have ownership to the building. The property falls under the purview of the Regional Democratic Council. 44-year-old housewife Robin Nadata Simone was charged with the offense of acts of terrorism on Thursday, three days after being arrested. She appeared at the Sparendown Magistrate's Court and was not required to enter a plea. According to the police, bail was granted in the amount of $250,000 with the condition that she surrender her passport and report every other week to the Cove and John Police Station. The matter has been postponed until March the 28th for a report. I didn't know terrorism was a bailable offense. Oh well. Three armed Venezuelan nationals suspected of piracy were arrested by the Guyana Police Force and the Guyana Defense Force Coast Guard off the coast of Guyana. The suspects allegedly stole a fishing boat and its contents at gunpoint and fled towards the Venezuelan border. The victims alerted nearby fishermen who contacted the authorities, leading to the swift arrest of the suspects and the recovery of two shotguns, one round of ammunition, two arrows, and one bow. The body of 51-year-old Venanand Kemraj of Ogle, East Coast Demerara, was found in a canal near his home on Wednesday evening. There are no marks of violence on his body, and family members reported that he was an alcoholic and a diabetic. Nevertheless, an autopsy is pending. Hey, I'm interrupting this program to let you know that not all truck parts are created equal. Some does work hard without any problems for a long time, while others does make your truck broke down quick and got your run in your pockets again. Get genuine high-quality parts from Powered Automotive Truck Spares and Engine Parts and extend the life of your repair. They're the authorized dealer in Guyana for Hammer USA products like brake valves, clutch discs, universal bearings, and other... Visit them at 1161 EE Eccles or call them on 6970171. Powered Automotive, the number one truck and engine parts store in Guyana. If you didn't know, well now you know. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's Car of the Week. Currently on sale is this 2020 Toyota Braze. It's almost brand new, and it comes with Toyota Safety Sense, Bluetooth, mug rims, new tires, TV, CD, LED lighting, fog lamps, bar camera, and much, much more. Buy cash for $6 million. Our pay as low as $1.2 million down with around $116,000 monthly for five years, and it is yours. Call or WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info. Huh? Visit the showrooms at Lot 171, Pinot Street, Queen South, or Lot 2, Lama Street, and tell them we can send you for this sweet deal. Tired of waiting on hold, tracking down a delivery driver, or carrying cash for your food orders? T2Eat is here to make your life easier. 
Ghana's first cashless food ordering and delivery app. Choose from Georgetown's top restaurants, pay securely with your card, and get your food delivered right to your doorstep with the convenience of being able to order from your phone and the added feature of tracking your order. GT Eats is the ultimate solution for all your food needs. Download the app on Apple and Android stores and start ordering the easy way today. A suspected bandit was apprehended by the tactical service unit in Queenstown, Georgetown with two loaded illegal firearms. The suspect was with an accomplice who managed to escape. The TSU was alerted after the men were seen acting suspiciously in the area. The police are interrogating the suspect to determine if they had any plans to commit a crime in the area. Guatemala's Foreign Affairs Minister Mario Adolfo Bucardo Flores will lead a delegation to Georgetown to collaborate with the government on agriculture and the establishment of a Guatemalan embassy in Georgetown. The two nations are discussing collaboration in several areas within the agriculture sector, including sugar, and Guatemala is interested in providing technical expertise to help Guyana's sugar industry return to profitability. Oh my. The PPP government has promised to reopen several sugar estates and allocated funds to the sugar industry for capital works to be undertaken at the various estates to help in its turnaround. And according to the president, it will at least cost the government less money by 2026. However, we still have no idea when it will actually become profitable. Now for today's oil update. The government is planning a second auction of prospective oil field leases next year to maintain the pace of development, according to the vice president. The nation's first auction is expected to take place by the end of May, with the government finalizing contract terms and legislation to secure a larger share of proceeds. The new contract will ensure Ghana remains competitive, despite increasing royalty rates and corporate tax. The auction is drawing interest from major oil companies, including those from the U.S., and on a related note, investors for Hess Corporation, one of ExxonMobil's partners in the Starbuck block, have expressed concern over calls for changes to the 2016 production sharing agreement. However, Hess CEO John Hess reassured investors that the Guyanese government is pro-business and has no plans to renegotiate the contract. Interesting. Meanwhile, ExxonMobil is moving ahead with plans for a fifth project in the Starbuck block, with a sixth project in the works and a 35-well program expected to begin drilling later this year. You can multiply your cash by selling Digicel Top Up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a Top Up vendor quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685-3109 for more info. Robbery season might be over, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business with Sheriff Security. Sheriff Security has well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. They speed even our drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Now for our uncut news, viewers poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Ghana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it plays to us. Last night I asked, what can be done to improve the situation for women in Guyana? But before we get to that, I'm proud to announce our latest addition to the Noble Army, Richard Singh, who is supporting us at the reporter level the highest level of monthly support we've received so far. So, thank you, Richard Singh. And also, a special thank you to David Griffith, Dion Nascimento, Project Zero, and Dimitri V. I appreciate you all. And if you're watching at home and you'd like to support our movement, just hit the link in the video description. HD Light Up Musical says, My greatest concern is domestic violence in Ghana. Women are the main target of abuse in their homes. The Ministry of Social Services should pay some more attention in this regard and formulate programs to help alleviate this problem. Suggestions include having more community counseling centers and stricter laws with harsher penalties for perpetrators, creation of more cottage industries, mainly in rural communities, to create employment for women, could also help to empower them. Indeed, I agree. Dimitri V says, The state needs to put legislation in place for equal pay for women. Create more programs that encourage women participation in jobs that are primarily for men. We as people need to encourage women that there's no job that a man does that they can't do. So for tonight's question, I want to leave on a positive note. Who is a person or an organization you feel that doesn't get enough credit for the good work they do for our nation? So I want you to think about that question. Tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight, and check out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Paul Foot saying good night, folks.